Well, hello everybody and welcome to another 1.17 snapshot opinion video. This video, I'm going to talk a little bit about 21W16A, 21W17A, 21W18A, 21W19A, 21W20A, and today's pre-release. And to be completely honest, not a lot happened. So I'm going to run through the adjustments they made in these snapshots. Then I want to talk a little bit about what the heck happened with this update. And then finally, let's talk about what we're actually getting. So in 21W16A, they made it so stalactites grow. They extend from the ceiling and grow over time. And that's basically it. 21W17A, they changed some textures. They also added noodle caves to the uh, cave generation stuff. And that's pretty much it. 21W18A, they made some adjustments to infested blocks. Lots of tweaks. And that's pretty much it. 21W19A, they took candles away, they took bundles away, they took skulk out of the game, and they did a ton of bug fixes. And that's pretty much it. And then finally, 21W20A, they made geodes a little rarer. And that's pretty much it. Which brings me to the whole, what the heck is going on with this update? So when they first announced 1.17, they talked about a lot of stuff. There was going to be bigger caves and bigger mountains and archaeology and the deep dark and this new skulk redstone system and a lot of stuff. And most of it is not in this update. So what happened? My guess, based on Java getting the caves and Bedrock getting the mountains, is when they put the two together, the game broke. And I think they had some ideas of what they wanted to do, but technically discovered very quickly that it just wasn't possible as the game stands right now. In the last few snapshots, they've made some pretty big technical adjustments, changing uh, the version of OpenGL, changing the version of Java. So I think they're starting to future-proof the game so that some of these enhancements will work. As far as the skulk and the redstone and stuff like that, we just didn't get the deep dark, so that got put on the back burner. As far as archaeology, I think they ran into so many problems with the world generation that they just had to put that on hold for now. Which is a bummer, because I thought that was a really, really cool idea. So I think what happened is, once they decided to break the update into two parts, they suddenly found themselves ahead of schedule. They were basically done with most of the block and mob additions, so... What else did they really have to work on? So the last few snapshots have just been little tweaks, little adjustments, and tons of bug fixes. And they're fixing bugs that go way back. So that's not all bad at all. But it still doesn't answer the question of what the heck happened. Well, ultimately, I think they just bit off more than they could chew. The last update like this was 1.13 with the ocean update. That was a pretty world-breaking update as well. When that came out, a lot of things didn't work great because so much had changed, so many new entities were in the game, and it was just a, a big technical update. There was a lot of struggles there. The Caves and Cliffs update probably should have just been Caves and Cliffs. All of these new additions with the, the mobs and the skulk and archaeology and those things, those should have probably been put into future updates. You know, an archaeology update all by itself would be a really cool addition to the game. And you know, it's surprising because Mojang, they usually have pretty good control over the game and great plans and that sort of thing. So I suspect they were surprised by how things went or there was something internal that we'll never hear about that just caused the game to get off track. So with 1.17 right around the corner, what are we getting? We are getting a ton of blocks, and most of them are pretty great. Some of the deep slate and new stones are very, very nice. The ore blocks are kind of cool. The powdered snow and the tinted glass, those add new things to the game that we didn't have before. So pretty happy with the addition of the blocks. We also got an overhaul of the ore system. All the ore blocks are nice and retextured. And then we got these raw ores. So we get raw gold, raw copper, and raw iron, which means we get the benefit of the fortune enchantment on these blocks. So that's going to be pretty cool, I think. They're also adding copper, which is going to be a really, really cool building block, especially for the quality of it changing color over time. I think it's going to add a lot of texture and character to builds, which is going to be awesome. We're getting a lot of cool new items. The lightning rod, of course, is a welcome addition to the game. 
We're getting some glowing items. The glowing signs, those look really, really good now, I think. And the glowing item frames are pretty cool. We're getting the spyglass. We got our dripstone points. We got our amethyst crystals, which are both cool decorative blocks. And then we get candles. They added them back in last minute. So I'm really, really happy about that. And finally, we get some new mobs. The least of my favorite is the glow squid. Yes, we get glowing ink sacks, but it's such a boring mob. It's just a retextured squid. And compared to the other options that we had to vote on, I'm just really surprised this is where we landed. There's also the goat, which is a cool atmospheric mob. You know, it adds a little bit to the environment. They make cool sounds. There's the danger that they might bump you off a cliff. So that's kind of fun. And then, of course, there's the axolotl, which, in my opinion, is the most interesting of the three mobs. Adds a little bit of a new dynamic to the game. How do we approach the water? How do we approach ocean monuments? And then, of course, there's the potential for farms and that kind of thing, which is pretty cool. So, yeah, the axolotl, I think that's going to be a lot of fun to play with. Plus, it's pretty cool looking. So, overall, it's a really nice update, but it's not a Caves and Cliffs update. It's a quality of life update or a texture update or a mob update, but there's no caves and there's no cliffs. And hopefully they can get that stuff sorted out. So hopefully there aren't too many bugs in this pre-release and we get an official release of 1.17 real, real soon. Well, that's where I'm going to wrap this one up. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about the 1.17 update. Let me know what you think about the blocks, the mobs, the things we didn't get. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you had fun. Please like and subscribe if you want to follow along on the adventure. And I hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.